basically, what happened first was we had a meeting with the um, directors of the show and they basically told us what their vision was and what they wanted to have. So mm -hmm. they said if they wanted the outfits to be eccentric or if they wanted them to be a bit more minimalistic. So then after that we went on the internet and we just found some like basic pictures. So this is um, for the character Alan before he turns into Aslan. So like a geeky. So we kind of just went off that and like making notes it's by like each character. So like, for Stout she said that he needs to be a bouncer, so then from that we have to look at bouncers. Um, how many questions are there to make this year in total? Um, I think it's about 50, but then we realised yesterday during the measuring that there's like an extra, I think it's like yeah. 10, 20 more than yeah. the first scene, because some people play more than one character in the show. So. And there's double ups, so um, an actor could play two characters, which means that there needs to be different variables of each mm -hmm. outfit, because someone could be skinny out. Whether that's putting like an elasticated waist on a skirt or just making two different things because they're completely like one's like really tall um, and one's really small, quite wider. Uh, how long do you think the costumes will take? I think we have about one to two weeks, but. We have six days. Yeah, but we, we think it's going to take about two years, but. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it probably. Um, so basically, <laughs> it looks a bit dead right now, <laughs> but when someone's got it, it looks better. Basically, it's the Roger the Cat, who basically is a translator for the Instagram, and the inspiration behind it was in in Disney. You know the white cat with the pink ribbons, the what is it, the Armastery cats. Basically, it was inspired by a white Astacats. cat. Yeah, Astacats, yeah. yeah. It was inspired by an Astacat, the white one. So you just wanted it to look really cute because, like, the joke is, is that he's actually really, like, masculine and doesn't like anyone telling him what to do. But he's a cute little cat with loads of pink ribbons on it. So basically, what we've had to do is, it's really difficult because this is really stretchy material. So when we're sewing, like, on the back, when we're sewing all this on, when she puts it on, it completely stretches. So, like, this has all been sewn on. But where she's only, she's only put it on once and it's all starting to rip. So we're trying to figure out what we can do with that, like, regarding that. And then we've made, like, one of these with elastic on it. So we've just added loads of fur to it in the places where you feel like it wouldn't break so much. But then when she put it on, obviously, like, where it's all safety pins, we didn't feel like there was enough fur on it. And then um, Adam's made this, which he followed a template for. So do you want to say anything about the hat? OK, it was really hard and he moaned the entire time. <laughs> but um, basically, what he had to do was follow a template. So what that means is that he has, like, directions on how to do it. So he had to, like, do loads of stuff inside out. and like, it use. Care. Yeah, it was really, really difficult because it was made quite a while ago, I think. And like we put poppers on it for like the quick changes and so she can just like pop it on and stuff like that. And like she has leg warmers that we've elasticated for her leg so it's all tight and looks really slick like a cup yeah. Um so basically what I'm doing is for when Alan in the play transforms into Aslan and although I've just been making like the um warrior chest plate because we were gonna order it, but then we couldn't really find one because they're all really feminine and like accentuate like her boobs and stuff, because it's a girl playing the character. And we thought if we did it, it could be a bit more masculine, because it'd be a bit bigger. But um, basically, I've just been putting all detail on it. But right now, this is the top we're going to use. I'm trying to figure out, because like, I don't really feel like it goes together. So I'm just trying to, we think we might dye it. So I'm just like placing it all out. And then we've also got, that's what it was before. And then we've also got um, a big fur piece on the back, because. The inspiration was that it'd be tribal, not like an actual lion. Because in the whole thing, he's a lion. And then it's like this massive transformation. So he thought if it was a lot more tribal, he'd look a lot more like, like strong and powerful, which is what they wanted to give off in rehearsal, what the director said. So we're going to have this. So I'm just kind of like piecing it all together and make sure it looks all right. Yeah. Grandpa Beaver, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, Beverly Beaver. Yeah. Forrest Beaver. Yeah. Justin Beaver. Yeah. Betty Beaver. What do I do? Needles. Turn the needles.
I'll just sew this here, just turn this. So these are the glasses for the mould, which are like, uh, what's the band? It's like a Mexican like, band. Oh yeah, they're, they're a mariachi band. Yeah, mariachi band. And because that moulds can't sing properly, they have these glasses. Mm. Perfect. 